All right, CRKT. I haven't talked about CRKT in a long, long time, except the redemption, the Ken Onion redemption, which was a takeoff of one of his custom knives, which was made by Hogue Knives with Magna Cut on the blade, okay? So there, that's the first CRKT knife I've talked about in several years. Here comes another one, okay? The fortuitous, because I went to CRKT booth when I was at Blade Show West because I had not really checked them out. I'd kind of just bypassed them on many occasions, like um, thinking, you know, they're kind of you know, just for big box stores and, you know, for non-knife enthusiasts, just kind of regular lunchbox Joe users, which is what I was when I first got into CRKT knives back in about 30 years ago or so, okay? But Michael Walker in Taos, New Mexico, and he's not only a, you know, a, a knife maker, but an artist, okay? So, uh, and he has won awards and all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. You can read his bio. I'll give you the link. I mean, the guy is, uh, uh, oh my God, so accomplished, but Okay, so they've hooked up with him on a couple of designs, okay? So you do need to read about Michael Walker if you don't know about him. Um, but the Walker lock and, uh, okay, so just so many things, innovations and things he's done. Uh, this is a limited edition of 500. And, you know, I, that was one of the things I was talking to my buddy Sean. I mean, we went to see our, and he goes, "You have you looked at the, at the, at the Walker knives that they've got because these are high end. And so I go, no, I hadn't really. And so, yeah, it was quite fortuitous that he told me about them fortuitous. Oh my God. Don't stop. Don't quit your day job. Okay. So here it is the fortuitous, the fortuitous. <sighs> Michael Walker. So he lives in Taos. Must be nice. I don't think I could afford to live on the outskirts. Um, and CRKT comes all wrapped up. See, and if you look at Michael Walker's Instagram, you will see that he does a lot of sculpture, uh, metal sculpture, and this kind of looks like one of them, you know? And so he's putting it on his knife. And so look at the pivot. Look at all this crazy stuff going on in the pivot. And all this kind of hammered look here. Okay. The little wheel on the pocket clip. The fortuitous. And there she be, right? Uh-huh. Walker design. Number 414. So we bought run out, right? Is there what he say? 500, I don't know, no, that must be the model, I'm sorry. Let's just, okay, give me a drop, there we go. And there it is. It's centered up, no blade play, no lock rock. This is made by, this is made in Italy by Lion Steel, by the way, and this is a Magna Cut blade, okay? So, hold on, made in Italy, Magna Cut, yeah, Walker, those are some there's some good uh, some good papers on good breeding on this knife here, and um, you know what? As typical, well, I was gonna say they crowned the spine, but kind of back in here they did. Not so much here, but yeah, maybe a bit. Very smooth. Magna cut. Okay, come here. Give me a piece of paper from somewhere. So I can just kind of get a little taste. Okay. All right. I'd say it's a good factory edge. I don't know if I'd call it scary sharp, but it, it's, it's a good factory edge on here. And you know what? The fortuitous, this one's not very expensive. It's like, what, $250. You see that? $250. 
for this one right here. Magna cut. Titanium handle. Okay. Now, you can get it also in Damasteel, right? Damasteel rose pattern. Titanium. Check that out. That's more expensive. $400. Okay, so um, that is more artsy looking, more decorative, all that kind of stuff than this is. But then again, Magna Cut. Uh, you know, and depends on how well it's done, I guess. I mean, that that's really... But I mean, if we're just talking names, then I'd probably take the Magna Cut over Damasteel if this was going to be a user and for the $150 less I'm paying, right? And you may prefer this little kind of gold stuff with the, with the black and the hammer and all that kind of stuff as opposed to maybe the silver or gray look. Okay, so that, yeah, that may be one of those things. And you know what? Other as, as well, for pause and read purposes, yes. Michael Walker, limited run, made by Lion Steel, okay? And then Magna Cut, et cetera, et cetera, IKBS uh, ball bearings, of course, because they've got the IKBS system. Here's more information, three and a half inch blade, right? Little over eight inches overall length. And then you might also want to look at the monument, then this is denim steel right here, but then they have one right here, and this is only two seventy five, and this is also a Walker design, right? So, and oh, by the way, but you can just go ahead. And now these are more than two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm waiting for you to start laughing. Yes, of course they are. I mean, I was looking, you can look at Arizona Custom Knives, but you can look at some other places online. I mean, some of these things are $13,000. But I mean, look at all the work, look at all the craftsmanship that goes into them. Some of them are over, they're into the 20,000. And then others are like 2,800, you know, four or five grand. But, you know, I'm thinking anything in here is going to be well over $10,000. But, okay, so I'll take mine for two fifty. dollars Thank you. And here it is. So, titanium, Magna Cut, made in Italy by Lion Steel. All right. How much does it weigh? Comes in a nice box. Comes with a nice, uh, nice cloth. Okay. So, I mean, you know, all of a sudden, CRKT's not doing, I mean, you know, what? they've, every once in a while they do this, you know, they had the hijinks that was, what, in 2014 or 2015, which one was it? And it was Import Knife of the Year and CRKT, and it was Ken Onion Design, of course, the hijinks, and made by Lion Steel. Okay, Schleipner Steel, remember that? But it would be once in a great while that they would do something high end. This is 108 it does feel light, 108 grams. But you know, now, ooh, it's kind of like they're putting the pedal to the metal because there's a lot going on. And you saw the bombo, bombo with a casting, and then that's titanium, that's Damascus, okay? And I'll be doing a video on that. That's becoming later after this. But, I mean, you're surrounded between that and the redemption and the fortuitous and all the stuff that Walker's doing with them. 3.83. You're going, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to be like an enthusiast company? Because they are. I mean, they're, they're, they're there now. I mean, I, so many knives that they've done. Flavio Icoma has done with the fossil. I still got my full-size fossil. I love it. The deadbolt stuff, the field strip stuff. The, I mean, just, they've, you know, and then they've done Leong Ma designs, right? The Remedy and, and the GSD, et cetera, et cetera. The Lanny. 
Yeah, so they've got a cadre of designers, Eric Oaks, a custom knife maker as well, Richard Rogers, I mean, on and on and on, Jeff Park, whatever. Okay, never mind. Just saying, they've got, they've got the ammo, they've got the guts, they've got the parts, you know, and all they have to do is decide they want to do it with higher end materials. And they, they are all there. And this one, I'd say so. I'd say so, because it's really light. It's good in the hands. The ergos are nice. The blade shape is good. Okay. Um, I, you know, I, I think I'm really kind of surprised that it's priced as attractively as it is, because really for Magna Cut Titanium, and you're getting, you're getting Michael Walker art from Taos, New Mexico, you know, where the 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 artists of southwest artists of note are celebrated um there's a lot going on with this knife as far as visual interest goes now this is not like ultra drop shuddy and so i haven't taken this apart which i will but it, you know right out of the box it's not yeah, I'm having to, you know, kind of give it the oomph, 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 that kind of thing. Because otherwise, if you just do this, there she sits. Okay. So, if you want super fidget, drop, drop, shuddy, that's not what this is yet, The you know. And so, we will take a look at it because it's got IKBS and this and that. So, maybe they got a little ambitious when they tightened the pivot or... Whatever, so I, I never want to count it out until I get it apart and put it back together and then try it, okay? So there's that. But no, blade length overall, supposedly the thing, right? Eight and a half, and I mean 8.1 something overall, but three and a half, okay. And it's three and a half all day long, and uh, which, is, which would be like uh, 90... A little over 90 millimeters, 91, something like that. Yeah, 8.15 overall length at 20 and a half centimeters, okay? So, yeah, but light, ooh, definitely feels light in the hand. And, you know, you either like the design or you don't, but you know what? I think this is a straight shot. This looks good. I like this. This is good. This I thought it was really attractive myself, just from a design standpoint. And yeah, your lockup's nothing to brag about there, but it's not difficult to to disengage. No, there it is. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting it to drop. You know, here it goes. And what do we got? Blade to handle length. Um. Okay, I think we're okay. Uh, maybe we could have stuffed a 16th more. I don't know, but really, if you're looking at 3.6, 3.55, 5 to 8.1, you're pretty, you got to be good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good right there, blade to handle, length overall, etc. And this, you know, I haven't carried this one yet. So I don't know about what this little wheel rolling into the pocket. But I would think, because I've had a knife before that had one of these, they usually work pretty well. Yeah, and it's got some flex to it as well. So there she be. Single screw there. Yeah, all the way around. I mean, you can see how rounded the crown is here on the knife. I'd say the finish and fit and that kind of thing is pretty darn good. I don't I don't feel problems with it at all. Uh, detent's good. Yeah, you can snap it out that way. It's not so easy the other way. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, finally. Okay. Yeah, I'd say it's where it needs to be. Really. Yeah try to fail it but it's it snaps out nicely and let's take a gander 
Let's take a look, see what she looks like on the inside. And then when we put her back together, etc., etc. Now, I'm wondering which way is going to be easier. They don't want me to take this apart at all. Not at all. Let's see what we got. It moved a little bit, but it's not moving now, so I wonder if they got a captured pivot on it, or which way were we supposed to come loose? Ah, supposed to come out from the front. And there's some thread locker, it looks like. Maybe a bit. Okay, is this a number eight? Yep. This is interesting back here, isn't it? This little standoff, very artistic as well. Um, okay. And come on, baby. I think you're I think you're free. It's just not coming out. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's it. Just two screws. Just two screws. And of course we got a separate. Yeah, separate little washer in here that's got some kind of lubricant. I'm going to clean that up, put my own junk in there. Because, yeah, there's, I don't know what that is, but that looks like I don't want it in there. That's what it looks like to me. And there's the IKBS. You know, I wonder if you could get some skiff bearings for this. Because I think this could use a bearing rehab. I'm not sure if I'm that thrilled with these. But skiffs might be interesting. I can measure these up maybe. And see what they might be. Okay. okay what do we got? 9 9.5, 9.7 millimeters okay internal diameter 5.3 okay and then how thick are these dogs 0.6, which is 0.02 of an inch. Okay. So, good thing I got it on video. I can go back to this. I can look at my dimensions and see if I can get some skiff bearings because, brother, I don't think so. Okay. See? I don't, I don't know. What is that? It doesn't feel gritty, though. Isn't that weird? It's like it dissolves. Okay, so it's something I'm not familiar with. And there's your other bearings on the other side. And stuff we're going to clean up. And uh, there it is. There's your lock bar. So there's no ceramic bearings, no ceramic detent, none of that. And I think it could use a shot of that, don't you? I think that might help out. So I think there's improvements that could be made in the aftermarket consideration. All right. Fortuitous. Michael Walker Design, CRKT, MagnaCut, Titanium, made in Italy by Lion Steel. And here she be. Fortuitous. Check it out. Thank you for hanging around. We do love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.